Hello again from the Tracker Travels. An exciting day here today. Just brought the motorhome back from the storage and we shall shortly be joined by Tyrone from Auto Editions who is coming today to replace our rear view camera with a twin camera like we had on our last motorhome and also to install the motorhome Wi-Fi unit which we are really excited about to boost our streaming and connectivity when we are away. Something that we have noticed has been a challenge on some of the sites that we particularly like um, around the Norfolk area quite often but um, it's not uncommon so we are looking forward to all of that being fitted. We will show you some clips of that being done today What are the components of the two installations we've had? So first of all, we have gone with the motorhome Wi-Fi. This is the 5G ready antenna. This sits on top of the motorhome and it is 5G ready, but currently works with the 4G SIM card. This is then coupled to the Huawei mobile Wi-Fi unit and this is what you've seen on the little video so far that is attached to the wall. So it's in two parts. There's the fixed panel that provides the power and in effect is a, is a docking station and then there is the Wi-Fi module itself. And we are using EE for our SIM card as we have contracts with them already. We were able to get an additional unlimited data card which we can then use with the Wi-Fi. And the second part of our install was the cameras. So we've gone with the ParkSafe Automotive. So this is the camera system that sits at the back of the motorhome. Um, ours is a black one, um, which bends in quite nicely with the decals we've got at the back of the motorhome. And this is the twin camera unit. And then that has been coupled to the Dolphin Automotive which is the rear view camera that sits on effect the rear view mirror in the cap which you've also seen in this video. So those are the five component parts of this install. At the back of the motor over then is this pre-installed camera and this is the one that is going to be swapped out today for a twin lens. The current system runs through our Xent unit on the heads up display here and we just have to select this camera button to activate the current rear view camera that I've just shown you on the back. Now obviously this has been limited for us because we um, can only use it really when we're driving along as a rear view mirror in effect. What we're missing out on is having the full reversing capacity so I can look down on the tow ball at the bottom um, when we're backing into either the tow car or onto the pitch. Um, really looking forward to getting that back and having that up here again as a twin camera unit. It will also free up this then when we're driving to have the sat nav on permanently whilst we're moving along and having the rear view um, up here. So quite exciting, we'll see how it goes. Wi-Fi has all been installed and as you can see just behind the rear view cameras are now going in so the twin lens system will sit at the top of the motorhome there and as you can see auto additions are here Tyrone going up the ladder there is about to install our new reversing and rear view camera system exciting <laughs> At the end of the job you can now see we have the twin reversing camera 
all installed, good to go, and I will show you what that looks like from the monitor at the front. So this is the new rear view camera with a view to the back of the motor home and works like a conventional camera. Then when selecting reverse, the camera automatically flicks over and we now have the view down which allows us to reverse back and get in our space without hitting anything behind us.